Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be presenting our official June 2021 forecast. Today is June 1st, which marks the first day of meteorological summer, so congratulations, we made it. Let's get right into the forecast. <music> Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know how do you hope this upcoming June goes? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, though. And first things first, we're taking a look at our precipitation forecast. And as you can see, we're taking a look at the above average precipitation region first off, and that looks like it's going to be the eastern half of the country. Uh, the first thing I wanted to mention is you might notice some resemblance if you saw our summer forecast, and then now you're seeing the June forecast. That's because June is one third of the upcoming summer. So basically, it should look similar because this is a part of that summer forecast, obviously. Uh, so we do see the above average precipitation in the eastern half of the country there. This is our slightly above average precipitation. And this basically means that not everywhere in here is going to have above average precipitation, but most areas will. Uh, one thunderstorm or missing out on one thunderstorm. Let's say you're in Fort Worth and Dallas gets hit with a massive thunderstorm that drops like five inches of rain but it misses you well that's an example of a very close proximity difference whereas dallas might be above average in their precipitation now you might stay below average so there is so many variables here going on in very short distances uh, so not everywhere will be above average i hope that makes sense now we're taking a look here at our moderately above average precipitation region and this is just where we're a little bit more confident uh, so when it comes down to things, I think that even more regions within here will have above average precipitation than the outer uh, lighter green region there. Uh, I definitely think that this area is going to get the most above average precipitation. Now, another thing we need to be thinking about is our hurricane season. Now, we sometimes get some tropical activity in the month of June, especially for the East Coast, usually. Uh, so we could be taking a look at some tropical systems developing this upcoming month. Uh, actually, it's more likely than not, I would say. And really, we're going to need to watch and see if that comes up the coast or if it impacts the United States at all, because that could bring some above average precipitation just by itself. So we're going to be watching closely for that for sure. Uh, I am. I'm going to be keeping you guys up to date with the latest information on tropical activity, uh, as well as all other storms. I'm going to try to at least. Obviously, there's many, many storms that happen. Now, what we're about to do is we are going to move on and we're going to take a look at things such as the below average precipitation. Where could it be drier than normal? We're also going to take a look at that temperature forecast above average or below average temperatures. We're going to take a look at the severe weather forecast for the month of June. And then finally, the exciting overall forecast. So all of those things are coming up in just a moment. All right, now here we are taking a look at the below average precipitation. And as you can see, for the Western United States here, we're expecting below average precipitation. Uh, and really, uh, this area just is not taking a look at very many storm tracks that come through this time of year anyway. But this is compared to normal. So even what is normal for this area, they could have a little bit less than that even. Uh, that's just how it goes. So the four corner states, the northwest, most of the Rockies, even the southwest as well all expecting to be a little bit more dry than what is typical. Now, as we take a look at that moderately below average precipitation for the Northwestern United States, we're taking a look at even more confidence that we will have that below average precipitation for this region. So that's just how it's expected to go. We've been basically years and years and years of this area seeing below average precipitation in the Western United States with the exception of a few months, but it's generally very, very dry, and recently it's been more dry than years past. Let's just move on to that exciting temperature forecast, because I know a lot of you are curious about that, and again, it's going to draw a lot of resemblance to that summer forecast. First things first, this was in our summer forecast, the western United States expected to be above average temperatures here. This is our slightly above average temperatures, but nevertheless, we do expect it to be warmer than what is even typical here for this western third of the country. We even have a moderately above average temperature region here for California, Nevada, uh, Oregon, Washington, and a little bit of Idaho there as well. That's just where we're even more confident in those warmer than normal conditions here for this region. Now, let's take a look at our second above average temperature region. And as you can see, for the eastern United States as well, we're expecting some above average temperatures here along the eastern seaboard for the Great Lakes, areas such as that, we're definitely, definitely thinking that things will be above 
uh, normal as far as temperatures are concerned for this region. Uh, and we even have a moderately above average temperature region for here as well. And again, that is just going to mean uh, that we're more confident in those above average temperatures for the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, the Northeast, New England, the Southeast, the Mid-Atlantic, all of these areas, we are pretty confident that there will be above average temperatures. All right, so that's that's generally what we're taking a look at here, the two areas here. This is what we call an omega pattern when we have the warm on both sides basically blocking in the cold air. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at where the below average temperatures could be. We're going to take a look at the severe weather forecast and then even the exciting overall forecast in just a moment. Here is those below average temperatures real quickly. And as you can see, it's a, that omega pattern. Like I said, we have the cold air in the middle. We have Colorado, uh, New Mexico, Kansas, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Louisiana. They're all in the below average temperature region uh, with the two warmer than normal condition areas on the east and west coast around that colder air. Uh, we saw a lot of this in 2018 and 2019 from what I remember. Um, and... We got stuck in that pattern for many, many, many months, almost a whole year, I would say. Uh, so we have to wait and see. Could be interesting to see if this carries on through into the fall or even the winter. Uh, that, that would have huge implications, obviously. Here is our severe weather forecast. And this isn't really saying that there's going to for sure be above average severe weather here. That mostly means it's the best chance to have above average severe weather. And for the month of June, it's mostly the northern plains there in the upper Midwest. Some of the central plains as well. Uh, but this is general, this is very typical for the, the June months. We see this severe weather region move further and further and further north as we get towards the heart of the summer. Uh, and, I, and I do think that this area is going to start to see some more severe weather activity as we get later into June. Uh, that is my expectations at this point. Anyway, anyway, let's get right into that overall forecast here. And we're going to start from west to east just like always. On the western seaboard there, hot and dry is the expected conditions you saw that on the temperature forecast. You saw that on the uh, precipitation forecast. It's going to be hot and dry. Uh, mostly as you head further eastward, though, from there, it's going to be mostly just dry. Less hot, more dry uh, for that region. I don't expect there to be too much active storm tracks that move through there, and that's most of the problem here. Uh, that's going to keep things very, very dry, to say the least. For the Rockies, the Four Corner States, uh, in surrounding regions, it's just going to be generally more dry than what is even typical for your region. Now, for the South Central United States, cooler than normal, like I said. Not cold. It's not going to be cold in the month of June. Uh, but it will be a little bit cooler, let's say 2 or 3 degrees below what is typical. Um, and oftentimes, it'll be a lot colder than that even. Uh, we see New Mexico is in there, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, all of these areas are expected to be a little bit below normal compared to what is typical for the month of June for your region. Now up to the north, we have severe weather up there for the purple region. You just saw in our severe weather forecast, we expect this area to be the most above average chance at severe weather. So I do expect that this area will get some severe weather activity at least, uh, but I do think there will be an above average amount even being possible. Warmer for the southeast could be some more heat waves on the way, but it's not going to be too far above what is normal because your normal temperature is very hot for the month of June down there in the southeast. Uh, so it's not going to be that much above average, but it will be it will be hot. Up to the northeast, uh, we see the northeastern United States, the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes. Things are going to be far above normal as far as temperatures are concerned for most of these regions. And I do expect that some hotter temperatures than what is typical could be expected here for this northeastern corner of the United States. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we're at a 4 out of 6. I've said this a trillion times, but I'm going to say it again. A 4 out of 6 is as high as I will go for a seasonal or long-range forecast. So that's where we are at. Maximum confidence for a long-range forecast, but I would never go any higher than that. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, when do you think our next tropical system is going to be? Because yesterday we released our hurricane forecast update. You can check that out today. Uh, and weather today said, I believe our next tropical system will be in late June and I do think that the I'm looking more towards the second half of the month than the first half because for now it doesn't seem like there will be any activity in the shorter range so we are watching for that second half of the month for a potential system uh, is as our next big chance anyway for today's patron highlight of the day I want to thank you all for supporting the channel but especially our platinum patrons John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dobie Nagel, Lair the Pan, and Donna Carnes alongside our diamond patrons Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Catbite, 
Charles Stinnett, Kel Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Gary's, John Qualisi, and Dwight Phelan. If you would like to join our awesome uh, Patreon highlight of the day here, just like this, you can do so by joining our very amazing Patreon page, and that's going to be in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I'd also like to thank our channel members, Weather Top Dogs, Hair Farms One, and Cat Bite as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below to help that YouTube algorithm out. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.